Hello and welcome to episode number 8 of the UK and Ireland Journeyman. And today is the transfer special of Wrexham. Last season we got promoted to the Vanarama National to the Sky Bet League 2. And this year we are looking to stay there. We were also finalists in the FA Trophy, but we didn't win unfortunately. So we're just going to have a quick look on who won all the leagues. So, Liverpool won the pr- the Premier League, and they also won the FA Cup in their Community Shield. Man City won the Carabao Cup, and in the uh, Scottish Premier League, Celtic won the league. They also won the Scottish Cup. In the um, Irish Premier League, Shamrock Rovers won, and. Oh, I don't understand that. The Senior Challenge Cup was won by UCD. I'm pretty sure that's a second division thing. Although I'm not quite sure though, so you can leave a comment down below. Linfield won the Danske Bank Premier League. Which is Northern Irish Premier League. The Welsh Premier League champions were TNS, no surprise there. And... Newton won the Welsh Cup, Barla won the MG Cup. Champions League was won by Real Madrid, with Ajax getting to the final. Europa Conference League was won by PSG. Oh, okay. So they must have finished third in their group. And the Conference League was won by Antwerp, who beat Arsenal in the final. So now let's look at the transfers we've already done for this year. When the loading screen goes away. Just before we do that. We've got £900,000 to spend. Wow. And... Wow, they would want to finish mid-table. Okay. I can try. But where's the screen I'm looking for? Uh... Transfer history. We have sold R- Rory Watson for 55k because, if we go in the first team, we did sign Harvey Collin, who has three star potential, five, no, three star current ability, five star potential. And we also did sign him on a free. He did play two games last year. I, I didn't want that one. What am I looking for here? I think it's profile. So we'll come, and we've also let l- loads of people go away from the end of their contract because they've all one star. Not much potential. So yeah, we're going to come back when I've made some more signings. But just before we make any signings, I'm just going to show you positions that I think we might need strengthening on. So goalkeeper, we have got Collins, I reckon he'll be okay for this season. Three star ability. Yeah, yeah, he'll do. If not, I'll have a look at it alone. Left back. We've got McFadden. Possibly we might need a backup. But we're okay at left back. Centre back. Yes, I think we definitely do need at least one upgrade. Right back. Again, possibly. Centre back, I think we're okay on centre back. Oh, was this the one I had wingers? It is. Um, yes, we need wingers on both sides because Ford and Davis are both three star, and hopefully, I'm looking to get someone around about four star. But in this striker position, I've got Paul Mullin and Palmer. Unless a good deal comes in for them, then yeah, they'll do fine. So that's all for the. All the positions that we're going to be looking for, and yeah, we'll have a look now. See if we can actually sign any of them players I just suggested. So for the first signing of this episode, we're going to be signing McDermott from Motherwell, mainly because he's got decent potential. The Mascot City was better than that. 
That's absolutely ridiculous. And we're also going to be signing Steve Thomason for 14k. I mean, this guy, yeah, he's, he's better. And he is also a right back. So I've not done many transfers this window. Well, I've only done two. And both of them are like backups. So, I mean, this season is not going to go too well. But joining us on loan is Fulkern. And he also has 150k buyout clause, which we probably will activate. Because if we look at coach report, he is, oh god, not as good as he told us. I need to get better scouts. Yeah. But in five days, yeah, I have to do some sort that. I have to do some really good searching in five days, man. So, so far, this transfer window has been an absolute disaster. They've given me loads of money to work with, and I've got not spent. But we're only halfway through the transfer window, and we're about to get into the first game of the season. Against Swindon Town in League 2. And I've not messed with the squad at all, have I? Yeah, I'll do. I think this squad's good enough to stay up. But it doesn't matter what I think. But can we perform in this league? But in my personal opinion, we will stay up this season. We'll go balanced. So then that's the team we're putting out today. Of course, Mullin will not be on the bench because he got a red card in the final, so he won't be able to play this match. Good tackle by McFazen. He goes out for a throw in for the number four, 31, Dale. Reed Dale crosses it in, but it goes nowhere and out for a goal kick. O'Connor to Palm to Tunecliffe. Intercepted by the number eight. Tavares shoots, saved by Collins. Oh, that was a good thing that happened there. Hose Hannah. Back to Collins. Hose Hannah. Three minutes in, it's already been really exciting. And just another highlight. Lafayette crosses it into the number 25. Who scores? I don't have a clue what happened. But I'm pretty sure. And well, let's see now. Dale. Get tackled by McPherson, but the ball goes to Lavinier. Who crosses it into Tavener, who shoot well, heads it. And it's Tooncliffe just not getting the ball away. So, five minutes into the match, and we're already 1-0 down. And Swindon have another highlight in their favour. Dale crosses it in, but it comes off Tooncliffe for a throw-in. Dale will take the throw in. And this goes to Lennon's head. Who heads it out for a corner. And I have not fixed corners. But it's a good thing we're not attacking that corner. Right, Mendy. Young to Palmer. Back to Young. Mendy passes to Palmer. He's in the middle. He gets tackled. And it's a free kick. And oh, oh, for God's sake. Palmer's got an injury. Let's bring on Dalby. Yeah, and why why is Mendy playing there? He can't play in that position. Can you play me in a winger? No, we'll we'll he'll we'll come off later into the game. Eight thousand one hundred people in attendance today, that's not bad. That's quite good, yeah. And of course, if at any point you want me to leave Wrexham, comment down below and we'll see if there's any jobs. Travenier tripped Davis, so who's on the attack now? We are, yes. Right, we've got a, f a free kick, crosses it in to Mendy. I think it was Mendy at least, number 19. But taking the corner now, the number 7. Davis who crosses it in. Just 
headed away by the Swindon defender. 47 minutes and we are losing 1-0 to Swindon Town. Hopefully Palmer's injury will not be a long term one. Hopefully it's just um a bruised a bruised um foot or something. Something that'll only keep him out for a day. Uh, I'm gonna go unhappy. No one's for God's sake they're all demoralised. And we'll bring him on McAlden for Mendy. Because Mendy plays on the left side. And we're also going to bring off Tuncliffe because he's been awful. And we bring on, I think, new signing, Hayden. No, not new signing. Hayden's not a new signing, I don't think. What? Let's have a click on him. No, no, he's not a new signing. I don't know what I'm thinking. And we're also going to go a bit more attacking and a bit normal. See if we can go get that. Another goal. So it's kickoff now. We we'll take it. Are we going to score off kickoff? McFazen runs down the left wing and he crosses, but he gets knocked off one of the guys. McFazen does it again, but Dalby couldn't reach it. Oh, right, Dalby passes to Young. Young makes a run, passes to Mc McCaldon. He's tackled. Now we've got a free kick there. <clears throat> taking it McAlden's being taken off to the side of the pitch for inspection receiving treatment oh no but that means there's only one guy in the box man but we score from it Dalby scores it's 1-1 one, one again I'm just gonna check if um, McAlden's uh, injured in any way no it's, it's just a wimp. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I said that, but no, Swindon have got a free kick in a dangerous area. Shades takes it and he scores. I told you it was a dangerous area. Instant taking back of the lead. Just what you hate to see, eh? No, we don't need to see that again. We just need to score again. Hayden to O'Connor McFazen runs down the wing passes to Davis right then there's a highlight now in our favour by the looks of Dalby passes to Davis who Dale intercepts passes to Travenier who hits the crossbar oh that was almost a goal for them and Davis is tripped from Lavenier Another highlight. Oh no, our defence man was shocking, absolutely shocking. I don't care that it's disallowed because that was awful. That was absolutely terrible. This is the worst start of the season we could have asked for. Dalby. It's McAlden Tozzi. Gives it to Hosanna. Who passes to Dalby and Dalby scores again. Dalby is starting next match then. That's just confirmed. And hopefully we can keep all this 2-2. Two, because two. that would be amazing. Dalby scored two goals now. And both of them equalises as well. You know what, we're, we're really lucky that goal got disallowed by Swindon. Or else it would have been very unlikely that he... He would have scored that. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. McFazen in the final minutes of the game. Crossed it in but gets intercepted by Reed. And there you go. That's the end of the game now. That was a very entertaining game as well. 2-2 two, two, draw. We'll, we'll take that. That was a decent result. Because it's still a point on a, in Wrexham's return to the League 2.
to the football league. That's what I was looking for. So, in the next episode, we will be playing against AFC Bournemouth. And the transfer special will continue. Because transfers and all that. So, if you've liked this episode, like the video. And if you you think I'm annoying, like the video. And if you didn't like the video, like the video. And subscribe.